What is up, everybody? I've already watched the trailer for Venom, but I want to talk about it anyway. I can't show it to you, I don't think. Copyrights, blah, blah, blah. But I'll play it loud enough that you can hear it. Let me turn the volume up here. And um, we'll talk about it as we go. Already? Here we go. There's a little bit of a weird preview thing at the beginning that we'll skip. Six seconds in, official trailer. Here we go. Thank you for bringing us collectively to this moment. Basecrafts crash. I wonder if it's shield. Starts today. Or not. In that moment there, it almost looked like... Test that uh, end up killing people. You're to go. You finished, Mr. Braun. Is that a threat? You had to learn... I think Peter Parker was in it. Sight. I'm pretty good at it. But you, you suck. Whoever you are. I want to make a life foundation. And I need your help. We found something. We call them symbiotes. I hope the plot is good. Carlton Drake believes that the union between human and symbiote is the key to our evolution. I feel to see the connection how he ends up involved in the lab. You don't need to be in the lab to report on what's going on. I like the voice. Why would we do that? I do like that. If you're gonna stay, you will only hurt bad people. The way I see it, you can do whatever we want. Do we have a deal? I hope it's good. I hope that voice becomes as famous as Darth Vader. James Earl Jones's voice. So, <laughs> it looks it looks really good, but of course it's a trailer, right? They cut it to look really good. They do all the best action scenes, all the, the biggest catchphrases. That's how most trailers go, right? They pick out all the highlights and that's what you see in the trailer. Um, just look at any trailer for any action movie ever. You're going to see all the best bits. So, this particular film... It's going to be interesting after the fact to find out where they were drawing their creative influences from. The big complaint that a lot of people had, I had with uh, Spider-Man 3, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 3, was that Venom wasn't impo physically imposing enough. They kind of just used Topher Grace's body instead of beefing up Venom to make him look really threatening and really scary. So hopefully they do uh, some of that. It shows a little bit of that if I scrub back for a second here. You can see the shoulders on Venom looks like he's really ripped, like he's big, but we don't see a full shot of of him. Another thing I wanted to mention that's interesting about the symbiote, 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 however you say it, whatever. Um, I remember reading an interview, or wa I don't think it was watching an interview, because Mark Bagley, the artist, the Marvel artist, rarely, I think, does uh, video interviews or whatever. But I remember reading... The challenges that he had in illustrating the symbiote this is particularly the venom the black suit and he said because it's black and the majority of it's black it's very time consuming for him as an artist to put a lot of form and and feel to it textures because it's a black suit so it's all it's all black in shadow it's black you can't see anything right so it's interesting in some of the combat that they show us in this trailer in the apartment like if you just look at a freeze frame of the of the combat let me see if I can even bring one up on the screen here 
Just one sec. Hey, Mr. Drake's property back. Okay, so here's like a perfect example of this, right? Let's get the, there, okay, here we go, ready? So look at the symbiote there. It's mostly black. There's some shine on the top, but you don't get the sense that it's like tendrils. Like, like you want venom to like be lots of tendrils, almost like an octopus kind of coming at you, right? Like very fluid. You want it to have like a, a few curls as it's a, at least that's how like we expect it from the Marvel artists. That's how they illustrate it. So it's, it's a little disappointing to see the action so far because it looks like they struggled with this problem that Mark Bagley talked about when he was illustrating Venom, uh, both in Amazing Spider-Man in the 90s and also in Ultimate Spider-Man more recently. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to reserve judgment, of course, until the movie comes out. Definitely going to go see this movie at release. Um, even just, it'll be interesting to see the dialogue that they put. It's already cool, some of the things that um, they have Tom Hardy saying about uh, we talking about the symbiote and himself, having conversations and hearing the voice in his head. So I, I like that. That's that's the ex interesting and exciting part. The science, the the bad guy, uh, you know, not so much. It'd be nice, it would be nice if they pit Venom, Tom Hardy and Venom, against a bad guy with superpower. Instead of it just being like anti-hero vigilanteism, it'd be neat if they have a legit villain, but I don't think we know that yet. At least from this trailer, it doesn't look like they do. It just looks like Venom's beating up on some random thugs. It doesn't look like he's uh, actually taking on anybody that threatening or serious. So, yeah, there's my reaction to the trailer. Uh, visually looks great. I hope, um, I hope they're able to overcome some of those concerns about the, the symbiote, the costume, uh, dealing with the, the black, but. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, I've been saying it since um, since Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, since those stopped getting made. Uh, Sony should just give it back. Just, I don't know. Disney's got the money now. They can buy it. They just buy it back. All the rights to the Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, all that kind of stuff. And then after the Sony hack, right, it made it even worse. Like, I don't know, man. I hesitate to say, but like, IT department gross incompetence you know what I mean like I don't know I don't want to be accusatory but the, the proof is in the pudding right they had a major hack they lost a bunch of stuff I don't know I don't know I'm surprised that they even allowed spider-man into the, the MCU but it would be funny for me I, I saw a rumor which I totally unsubstantiated I have no idea if it's true a rumor that Tom Holland makes an appearance in this film I highly doubt that. It would be hilarious if Andrew Garfield made an appearance in this film. Um, I seriously doubt we'll see any Spider, Spider-Man action in this film, but uh, we can hope. We can hope. All, all, all in all, very optimistic. I look forward to it. I don't mind. Uh, I saw some complaints about the way the the symbiote wraps itself around Eddie's Eddie Brock's face. People didn't like that the, the, the teeth were flaring up over his head or something like that. I don't have a problem with it. It doesn't bother me. It's It looks threatening, and that's kind of the important part. So like rows of teeth like a shark. Shark teeth, right? So, yeah. All in all, I think it looks good. Looking forward to it. Thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, if you're hiding under a rock somewhere, go check it out. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Infinity Wars coming soon. Like, two more days. No, tomorrow. Everyone's gonna go see it tomorrow. It's Wednesday already. Okay, see you, bye.